Hello and welcome to the Audulous Build Podcast. Today we're going to talk about how to make a volume knob with a mutable switch. Now we're going to add a patch and here we're just going to add in all the ingredients. We're going to have the input, output, the knob that's going to be our volume knob and the, uh, the MIDI trigger that's going to be our mute button. And we have a multiply node there and we'll see what that's going to do in a second here. I'm just going to delete these names here. I like to put the names on the inside of the, uh, the nodes on the front panel. All right, now I'm copy and pasting that multiply node, so I have two of them. Uh, connect that to the volume knob, and the input uh, goes through the other input of the multiply node. I'm going to pass that output of that product there to the mute button there. And as you can see, the input uh, of the, the module is coming in and being multiplied by the value of the knob. Right now, the knob is at 0.5, so that means that the signal coming through is halved uh, because anything multiplied by 0.5 is, is it's like dividing by 2. Uh, if the knob is turned all the way down, it's like multiplying by 0, uh, so no signal passes. And if the knob is turned all the way up to 1, then it's like being multiplied by 1, which is basically just unchanged. Uh, here I'm labeling the controls, and the mute uh, the mute trigger uh, function works in a similar way, where it's either one or zero. You have to change it from the momentary action that it uh, defaults to to the toggle switch, which I did earlier. Uh, now I'm going to pop out and arrange the front panel. And of course, you you don't have to make a separate module to do just this. You can integrate it into your designs if you like. But uh, this is just showing you one way of of making a little module here. Let's uh, space these out a little bit. It's, it's one of the fun things about Audulous is you can kind of you can you can make everything look exactly how you want it to, and uh, it's really quick and easy to make your interface without having to go into a another program like uh, Photoshop or Illustrator and make a whole uh, UI for that. You can just do it uh, re relatively quickly right within Audulous. Now we're going to add in uh, oscillator here so we can uh, see what it looks like. And to turn an oscillator always on, just click on the E input there, the envelope input, and just add a 1. And we're going to add a waveform node here. Connect that. All right, and see it's unmuted now, and so the signal is passing. And it kind of looks like there are just two lines being drawn there, but what that is is the, the waveform node isn't fast enough to draw the uh, wave that's going into it right now. Uh, but that's what audio typically looks like when it's going in uh, through... Uh, into the waveform node. Now I'm thinking uh, I want to change those A's from audio because this, this isn't just useful just for audio. We could have it for other signals too. So let's change that to the throughput signal, which is a greater than sign. And that just means any signal uh, is meant to pass through it. So now let's uh, go to the metadata. I'm going to add the author name and a tag and a little short description of what the module does. So with that, we click OK. Then we go to Clear History and Save. I'm going to save it to my iCloud drive so it's instantly synced across all my devices. And that's it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by a user question that came in through support at Audulous.com. Uh, you can also email me at mark at Audulous.com directly to make requests for these tutorial videos. Uh, the user just wanted to know how to make a volume knob and a mute function for one of the modules that he's creating. He's probably making a big uh, self-contained synthesizer and just wants to have one main control there for it, uh, for the module. Uh, so that's that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, please uh, rate us and review us in the iTunes store, the uh, iOS and Mac stores. Those five-star reviews really help us out. Also, make sure you join us on the forum, forum.audulous.com. Uh, you can ask for help there. You can share your patch creations. It's a really great place. We have a really great and friendly community uh, that all gets together and, and enjoys talking about Audulous. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.